All electricity, electronics, and automation hobbyists have sometimes the need for a simple device which allows to introduce a delay in a 127 volt AC line. When working in some small project or when repairing some vintage machine, we want to automate. Here is a circuit that does not require regulator or complex power supplies and which can be made in a few minutes with scrap components from our component box. In order to explain its operation, we will assume we wish to apply 127 volts AC to the input of our timer circuit. After an adjustable time period, a relay is triggered, thus introducing the desired delay into our project. We will start with a clean slate where we will start drawing a tiny power supply for our timer. The supply is simply made of a diode D1 protected by resistor R1 which safeguards it against excessive starting current and a capacitor C1 which filters the ripple resulting from half wave rectification. When the 127 volts AC appear in the input, Capacitor C1 is almost instantly charged to the peak voltage of almost 180 volts. With that, we have our power supply working. Now, the variable resistor R2, potentiometer, conducts a small current which charges capacitor C2 at a slow rate. Say, it takes about 3 seconds to reach the ignition voltage of the neon bulb NE1 about 90 volts, which discharges capacitor C2 through R3 and SCR1 gate. RY1 relay coil is connected to the anode of SCR1 and the other end of the coil goes to the positive side of capacitor C1, that is, the positive of our power supply. When the relay coil is energized, its contacts, our delayed output, move. They are the output to the controlled circuit. On the other hand, as the SCR1 fires, it discharges capacitor C2 through diode D3, so that the next cycle has the same duration as the first one. When the 127 volts AC are removed from the timer input, the charge stored in capacitor C1 keeps the relay energized for a short period and this can also be applied for the needs of our project. A suggested value for limiting resistor R1 is 47 ohms, whereas R2 pot is 20 kilo ohms and R3 is 4700 ohms. Capacitor C1 can be about 80 microfarads, 250 volts, and capacitor C2 could be about 0.2 microfarads. You can play a bit with these values to get the times required by your project. Since the relay contacts are isolated, they can be used to activate different circuits with different voltages. The diodes used here are 1N4007 and the relay can be a 127 volt DC unit or, if not available, a 220 volts AC unit which has a similar ohms value. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.